Welcome to our Digitalized Taxpayers Briefing and Orientation. In this video, I will be discussing about the basic concepts of excise taxes. We will be discussing the concepts of excise taxes, type of excise taxes and basis of computation, and the filing and tax payment of excise taxes. Excise taxes apply to goods manufactured or produced in the Philippines for domestic sales or consumption or for any disposition and to things imported as well as services performed in the Philippines. We have the general classifications of articles subject to excise tax. First, we have the alcoholic products such as distilled spirits or wines. Then, we have the tobacco products such as cigars or cigarettes. Third, we have the petroleum products. Fourth, the mineral products such as the metallic and non-metallic. Fifth, we have the miscellaneous articles such as vehicles, non-essential services, and the sweetened beverages. We have two types of excise taxes. We have the specific tax and the ad valorem tax. Specific taxes are tax imposed and based on weight, volume, capacity, or any other physical unit of measure. While ad valorem tax are imposed and based on selling price or other specified value of the article. Please refer to the general formula in the computation of excise tax. First, we have the specific taxes. So we start with the volume or other physical unit of measurement multiplied by the specific tax rate. While for the ad valorem tax, we have the volume multiplied by the selling price or any specified value per volume multiplied by the ad valorem rate. Now, let's proceed to the basis of computation. Let's start with the distilled spirits. As you can see in the ad valorem rate, there is a constant rate of 22%. In addition to the ad valorem rate, there is a specific tax rate per proof liter. For wines, there is a 50 pesos per liter excise tax and effective January 1, 2021, there is an increase of 6% every year thereafter. For fermented liquors, you can see that there is an increasing excise tax per liter from 2020 to 2024. And effective January 1, 2025, there is an increase of 6% every year thereafter. For tobacco products, please refer to this table. As you can see that effective January 1, 2014, there is an increase of 4% a year and thereafter. For heated tobacco products, per pack of 20 units or packaging combination of not more than 20 units, an excise tax of 25 pesos for year 2020 up to 32 pesos and 50 centavos for year 2023. And effective January 1, 2024, there is an increase of 5% every year thereafter. And for other tobacco products, please refer to this table. For petroleum products, a specific tax is imposed per Section 148 of the National Internal Revenue Code as amended. For mineral products, 
Section 151 of the NIRC as amended provide tax rates, type of minerals, and the taxable base. For the domestic and imported coal and coke, the taxable base is the metric ton. As you can see, there is a significant increase of excise tax starting 2018 from 50 pesos per metric ton to 150 pesos per metric ton starting 2020 onwards. All non-metallic minerals and quarry resources are taxed at 4% based on the actual market value of gross output value used by BOC, except for locally extracted natural gas and liquefied natural gas which are exempt from excise tax. All metallic minerals are taxed at a rate of 4% but differs on the taxable base. For locally extracted or produced copper, gold, chromite, and other metallic minerals, it is based on the actual market value of gross output. For imported ones, they are based on the value used by the BOC. For mineral concentrates, it is based on the world price quotation. For indigenous petroleum, there is a rate of 6% based on the fair international market price for automobiles intended for sale, locally assembled and imported. The following are the rates. Provided that hybrid vehicles shall be subject to 50% of the excise tax rates on automobiles under this section. Provided further, that pure electric and pickups shall be exempt from the excise tax on automobiles. For non-essential goods under Section 150 of the NIRC as amended, a tax rate of 20% will be imposed based on the wholesale price or BOC dutiable value, net of excise, and VAT. For non-essential services, a new section designated as Section 150-A, Chapter 6, Title 6 of the NIRC as amended by Republic Act 10963 or the Train Law. A tax of 5% is imposed based on a gross receipts, net of excise tax, and VAT. Take note that the coverage includes invasive cosmetic procedures, surgeries and body enhancements directed solely towards improving, altering, or enhancing the physical appearance and do not meaningfully promote the proper function of the body or prevent illnesses or diseases. For sweetened beverages, an excise tax of 6 pesos per liter using purely caloric sweeteners or purely non-caloric sweeteners or a combination of the two, while 12 pesos per liter using high fructose corn syrup or in combination with any caloric or non-caloric sweeteners. While it is exempt using purely coconut sap sugar and purely steviol glycosides. Persons liable to excise tax. On domestic or local products, we have the manufacturer, the producer, or the owner or possessor of untaxed products. On indigenous petroleum, persons liable to tax are the following. For local sale, barter, or transfer, it is the first buyer or the purchaser or the transferee. For exportation, it is the owner, leasee, concessionaire, or operator of the mining claim. On imported excisable articles, persons liable are the following, the owner or the importer or person who is found to be in possession of the tax-exempt products other than those legally entitled to exemption. Please refer to the forms to be filled by excise taxpayer per product. Time of filing of return. In general, before removal from the place of production in case of locally manufactured products. Before release from the customs custody in case of imported products. Exceptions. At intervals for a particular class or classes of taxpayer, under prepayment advance deposit or other similar schemes, 
within 15 days after the calendar quarter for metallic minerals. That would be all for the basic concepts of excise taxes. Thank you for watching.